Yes, good afternoon. Right now it's about 12.30 and today is 2nd of May 19, 2018. And how are you guys? I'm back. You know, I was just, you know, wanting to be here in India with you guys, you know, because it was getting very difficult over there. It used to be midnight and I used to be awake making the videos and I could feel, you know, I'm sounding a little sleepy and drowsy, but thank God I'm here. I'm feeling so much better. So um, now, you know, I was saying that hope you have been watching our stocks, you know, like if you remember, we have given Scient and Scient we gave you at 6.30. Look at the Scient. Let me just take you there and you can see how it has gone up. So see here, this is our old stock pro training channel, you know, where we used to give the trades, you know. On March 19th, we gave Scient at 630 rupees, right? And look at it today, where science stands, it's at, it's at 815. Good about, um, good about 185 points above. We gave it at 630, it's at one, it's good 30% increment it has given in uh, roughly about one and a half month. This is, how, this is the beauty of technical analysis, right? So what I'm saying that, Look at, you know, like today in the morning I had on my radar see it, you know, and see the beautiful flight that see it has taken today. Look at it. And if you remember, you know, I told you those who joined me on question and answer and those who have been hearing me that I'm pretty much bullish on Infi. And Infi, you know, see when I, I, I gave it as a stock of the week, you know, and I gave it about last week I gave it, right? And it 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 went from where to where just look at it you know when i was talking about it it was at 10000 um, 11 1152 or something you know from there it even touched 12008 right it touched even 12008 good about 50 60 points you know like in few trading session right and today also there is a price rejection at the lower levels if you just see here there's a price rejection at the lower level, right? And this looks to me still very, very strong. But now I, I will have to wait, you know, like I'm, I'm going to analyze once again and probably I'll give you, I mean, now I'm planning, you know, a day before I should give you uh, stocks on the breakout, you know, like yesterday I was discussing it with my members uh, in one of my group and I said, keep see it on your radar and look at the see it, how beautifully it has gone up. It opened gap up, you know, like it opened at about, you know, like it closed. Where did it close yes, last time? 1590. And where did it open? 1605, right? Good about 15 points up. And then where did it go? It went up to 1650 from where it opened. 1605 to 1650, 45 points it gave further from where it opened, right? This is the beauty. Uh, of analyzing the stocks and this is the beauty of analyzing stocks way in advance and understanding them now i have one stock on my radar it's pfizer you know like this is a stock it's looking very very good to me pfizer if you i mean if you feel like i mean you need to analyze your own self as well but to me it looks pretty good you know it's a it's a uh, it's on a very very right good support right now and i could see the volumes also coming in and also, to me, you know, Mariko looks very nice. Look look at beautiful support it has taken and gone up. This is one day graph. Beautiful, long, long Marubuzu candles. This is how it's been heading up, right? So um, this is, you know, look at Raymond. You know, like this was also on my radar. Um, now, let me just give you one level of Raymond. If it breaks this boundary, you know, which is 1151, 1152, 10, it's going to head up further. You know, like this is a major resistance for wherever it is right now. 1142 is a major resistance. And beyond this, there is a small resistance at 1152. If it crosses 1152, then I think we can expect another 10% movement in Raymond's. That means about 100 points more we can get. About my target to you guys will be 1250. That will be my target. All right. Now let's come back to Nifty and see what's happening in Nifty. I have marked its GAN levels also. And uh, let's see what's happening in Nifty. You know, so these are my GAN levels. Let me just take you to 15 minutes and see here. Nifty opened today gap up, right? 
Nifty, actually, this is Nifty Futures, but if you look into the Nifty Cash, it opened significantly gap up, right? And then only there were sellers, right? And then Nifty took a little support, went up, and there's a fight going on, right? There's a fight going on right now. And let me bring you back to the futures where I've marked the GAN levels. Let's see what's happening in the GAN levels. So Nifty has, if you see from here, the, the GAN level on the upward direction was, sorry, wait a sec. Uh, it was at 10790. So it tried to touch that and it came down. Now it's struggling to hold itself above the next GAN level, which is at 10,765, right? So the fight is going on for quite some time. You know, I've been watching it for the last 45 minutes. There's a continuous war that is happening, you know, between the bulls and the bears. So let's look into technically, you know, like forget about everything else. Let's look into technically. If you see the moving average, it's taking a bit of support. MACD is about to cross over. RSI is very, very close to, you know, the level. Um, it's it's where is it right now? At 54, right? So in case RSI crosses 60, in case RSI crosses 60 and MACD crosses up and this support is honored, then I feel Nifty will again try to hold its position, right? Now, let's see what's happening with respect to the option chain. This was a few minutes back, right? There was a huge call write, put writing happening at 10,700 level. And there was a huge call writing happening at the 10,800 level. Now, let us me let me refresh and we'll see the dynamics. How is the whole thing changing? So what I could see here, the, the, the put writing is still at 10,700 and the call writing is at 10,800. So the nifty is going to be in a narrow range today. I mean, I don't see, you know, like, uh, okay, let me just do one thing for you. In case it crosses this level, right? In case it crosses this level, which is 10,775 with volumes, then I see an uptrend. And if it crosses 10,787 with volumes, then I see another uptrend. And if it crosses 10,090, um, uh, 10,790, then definitely Nifty is very, very bullish, right? And if Nifty does that, what could be the next target? Let me take you to Nifty's cash cash price. In that case, if it if Nifty crosses ten thousand, you know the next level of Nifty. If it crosses ten thousand um, seven uh, seven ninety or eight hundred somewhere here, where it opened today, if it crosses today's today's opening price, Nifty is going to be very very bullish, right? Nifty is definitely going to be extremely bullish right and then of course its journey towards 11,150 will start right so that is what i believe but let's see because right now there's a huge struggle that's going on there's a huge struggle some of the signals of nifty are looking bearish but most of the signals are looking pretty much positive right so depending upon how it goes let's say about around 130 or so we should be able to get a clear picture right so Today, I believe it's the, uh, you know, uh, uh, IT stocks which are pulling the market down. Look into Mindtree, look into TCS, look into HCL Tech, look into NIT Tech. Each of them is significantly down. Each of them is significantly down, right? Look into any of the IT stock. They are massively down, right? And that's the reason even Tech Mahindra is down, Tata Alexa is down. Um, uh, all, this, all the IT stocks are massively down. Right, but at the same time, some of the banking stocks are doing pretty good. So there's a fight in the market. You know, market doesn't have a good, clear direction. So let's wait and watch. Right, let's wait and watch. But right now, I'm not having any open position in Nifty. Why? Because I don't see any clear indication of it either going up or it's either coming down. So I'm in an indecisive mode. But at the same time, little bearish but little positive i don't know it's total confusion for me in the market maybe i won't trade today i mean i do trade today you know uh, stock specific trading i may do so uh, i have again you know created my position in um atg again so see now i think this is in positive now so this is a this is a portfolio you know i plan to share with you guys almost every day uh, every time i create a new position 
I will be sharing this with you. So this is, I have started this with uh, 2 lakh 50,000 rupees and it has grown to 2 lakh 66,000 rupees in a month, month and a half time, right? So this is just my equity portfolio and I'll be sharing with you guys every day, whatever trade I take, whatever, you know, positions I will be creating, I will be discussing it from here, right? So as of now, Nifty looks in a no trade zone. I'm not either i'm neither bullish nor bearish i will be bullish only when a candle leaves the 10 moving average and goes above this you know 10775 then i'll be buying nifty's call with volume if it crosses or maybe i'll buy nifty's future but right now i'm not doing anything right with this i'm signing off see you tomorrow probably with something new some new strategies something new i'll be talking to you good day bye good day guys bye bye take care See you tomorrow.